Nonviolence is the only chance we have, Malcolm. By appealing to the conscience of this country, the conscience what of we, this country, this country has no conscience. It has no morality, no sense of honor. Hell, Martin, it doesn't even have a memory. What it doesn't want to remember, it forgets. And what we won't let it forget, it lies about. This country only has a conscience when you agree with it. It doesn't care about right or wrong. It just cares if you agree with it. And if you agree with it, it agrees with you. It'll call you a hero when you tell black people to be non-violent here, but will call you a liar or a traitor and a coward if you told those same black people to stop dropping napalm on brown-skinned babies in Vietnam. You think you can appeal to the conscience of a country like that? Martin, the Jews in Germany were non-violent. They remained non-violent all the way up to the gas ovens. Go ask the victims who survived the, the concentration camps if nonviolence got them their freedom. As for me, I'm going to deal with the victims of the concentration camps we have here in America. Only here they're called New York, Detroit, Philadelphia, Chicago. No, Martin, if you're looking for a conscience, you best look someplace else. Anybody that preaches nonviolence, when I see the man out there building gas ovens, is helping to destroy his own people.